What is up? It's the king of YouTube, Carlos Valdosta, with Pistol Whipped, episode number two for Call of Duty Ghosts. This is the MP443 Grout, Grouch, Grouch, Grinch, Grundle, Grunch. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this, today I was actually going to put up my first episode of my Final Fantasy live stream. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know that that never happened uh, last weekend, and and the reason it didn't is because of a little situation I had with my daughter, uh, and this actually goes back to last Saturday. Last Saturday, my daughter went to the movie theaters with my, her mom and, and a couple of friends, and when she was there, I think she got like a ant bite or a spider bite on her ankle. And, you know, she came home, and she was kind of itching it, but it didn't, you know, it didn't seem like anything big. It just seemed like a, a bug bite. Sunday morning, she was kind of complaining about it, so after she washed, we put like this um, anti-itch, um, anti-histamine cream on her ankle and it seemed like that that was fine or whatever monday morning she was kind of complaining again and we looked at it and it, it, it looked kind of red but i thought it was just because she was scratching it so i put a little bit more of that cream and sent her to school well monday night she got back and it was a little bit it looked a little infected so we actually have some antiseptic that i used cleaned up the area wrapped it up and i told her you know make sure you don't scratch it and she went to school on tuesday it was a mistake because when she got back home from Tuesday, from school Tuesday, her ankle was swollen. And I was like, alright, this looks like an infection. So I called her pediatrician. And they didn't have any appointments the next day. So there's a children's urgent care like uh, medical office right by my house. And my insurance is except there or whatever. So I took, her, I took her there the next morning. And they looked at it and they're like, yeah, it's definitely infected. So it'd probably be a good idea if you give her a couple of these antibiotics. They give her an internal antibiotic and then a, a topical one. And they, they took a pen and they kind of marked around where the infection was. And they said, as long as it doesn't get bad um, tomorrow morning, then you can probably send her back to school if it doesn't expand outside of that marking. So the next morning I looked at it and it looked still kind of inflamed like it did the night before, but it didn't expand. Um, and the picture that you see right here was the picture that I took. So it looked, still looked kind of gross. Uh, and she went to school. Also a mistake. Because when she got back from home or got back from school Thursday night, her leg got ridiculous huge. In fact, the picture that you see here is what it looked like she went that night. I called her pediatrician. They're like, "Look, we'll go ahead and make an exception. Bring her in tomorrow morning." So I brought her in, and they looked at it, and they did. They had to. They had to lance the blisters because blisters started appearing on on where on where the infection was, and this like white or well, it was actually clear, which was good. A clear pus kind of came out. But they prescribed her another uh, antibiotic, and this one's specific for the skin. And they said, look, we're going to mark around it again. If it gets bigger than this, go ahead and let us know. Well, that night after she washed and we gave her a saltwater bath for her ankle, which the doctor had recommended, it gotten bigger again. So we called the pediatrician. The pediatrician was like, look, normally the day or two after you start antibiotics, the infection will look like it gets kind of worse before it'll get better. But... Just to be safe, bring her in again. We know what it is now, uh, but I just want to take a look at it. So I bring her in the next morning, and it turns out she has something called cellulitis. Now, if you don't know what cellulitis is, go to Google Images and type in cellulitis. It's spelled C-E-L-L-U-I-T-I-S. C-E-L-L-U-L-I-T-I-S. Holy cow. Fuck, after I Googled that, I was like, oh my goodness. The pediatrician basically said that if we didn't start antibiotics the day that we did, there's a very good chance that my daughter would have had to have been hospitalized with a IV drip for for antibiotics, and we would have probably had to, to have leave her in there for a week. If you don't believe me on something small like that, well, I mean, you may or may not, but again, just Google the pictures and see what what people have. Like, I can only imagine back in the day, like, before antibiotics, if somebody got this, like, if they took them to the local doctor or whatever, they would have been like, yep, cutting off the leg or cutting off the arm. And like, it's ridiculous. It is crazy that some people, you know, if, if they just don't catch it early enough. In any case, next weekend or this weekend coming up, hopefully I'll get to do my live stream. If you don't follow me on Twitch, um, go to twitch.tv forward slash Carlos Valdosta. I'll put a link in the description. And you can um, you can get an email whenever I go live. And I'm gonna plan to do my uh, Final Fantasy 2 live stream. 
If uh, you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description again as well because I usually tweet out when I go live as well. And look at this little series. Shoot this guy, shoot this guy, knife this guy, see the dog. Knife Riley, get down. Sit, boy. <laughs> All right, in any case, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.